The rains have caused rainwater to build up at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant and spill directly into the ocean. The operator of the plant says the water may contain radioactive materials and is checking samples. Tokyo Electric Power Company says surveillance camera footage showed water overflowing a drainage channel three times on Friday. The leakage lasted a total of more than two and a half hours. In February, radioactive rainwater was discovered spilling into the sea from the channel. As a stopgap measure, TEPCO built a barrier to hold water so it could be pumped out before it reaches the sea. Well, since May, the operator has been trying to reroute the channel to prevent rainwater from spilling directly into the ocean. But the work has yet to be completed, causing the channel to flood whenever heavy rains fall. Well, officials with the International Atomic Energy Agency released their final report on the Fukushima disaster late last month. It cited weaknesses in the plant's design and in emergency preparedness. Now the chief of the IAEA says he hopes the report will help improve nuclear safety around the world. Director General Yukia Amano was in Vienna for a meeting of the Board of Governors. He mentioned the Fukushima study when speaking to reporters. We hope uh, that countries I will make maximum use of this report and increase the safety, nuclear safety of their country's activities. Amano called the study a major undertaking. It included contributions from about 180 experts from many countries and international organizations. The report says Japanese officials were operating under the assumption that nuclear plants were safe. This led, to be, led them to be unprepared for such a severe accident. The Japanese officials say they want to learn lessons from the accident. They say they want to do their part to make nuclear energy safer. Severe floods have hit Japan, sending tons of radiation-contaminated water from the Fukushima nuclear plant into the ocean. That's been confirmed by the facility's operator, Tokyo Electric Power. Authorities have declared the situation an emergency. Entire neighborhoods were submerged in water after rivers burst their banks. Around 90,000 people have been moved to safety. Professor Christopher Busby, who's the uh, scientific secretary of the European Committee on Radiation Risks, says that there could be serious radiation-related consequences if the situation is not handled properly. Um, there's an enormous amount of radioactivity underneath the plant. The reactors are holed and a lot of the fuel is actually in the ground and that's mixing with the groundwater. Well, normally what they do is they pump that away because the groundwater becomes heavily contaminated and they pump it into those big tanks. But of course, if the groundwater rises as a result of this, this rain, then that stuff will come out of the surface of the ground. Uh, and the second, the second problem, of course, is it may affect the integrity of the structures, the actual building structures of the four reactors. And then, of course, you're into really serious, serious nuclear nightmare territory then. Um, it surprises me that they haven't got enough pumps to deal with this situation. It's not a situation that's impossible to predict. I mean, all along the line, we're being told that TEPCO couldn't possibly have predicted this and couldn't possibly have predicted that. Well, the answer is they should have. Rescue workers in eastern Japan are evacuating people from homes submerged by devastating floods. Torrential rain pummeled wide areas as a tropical storm cut across the country's main island. A levee broke on the Kinugawa River about 60 kilometers from Tokyo. You can see it collapsing next to the falling tree. Officials in Joso City say this happened just after noon Thursday. Police say they've received reports that houses and cars were swept away, some with people inside. They say they're having difficulty reaching inundated areas because of strong currents. Prefectural officials say seven people in Joso City are missing. Rescue crews are using helicopters to evacuate stranded residents. They've airlifted about 50 people from balconies and rooftops, and many are turning to social media to appeal for help. The man on the lower part of your screen clung to a pole for over an hour before rescuers arrived. Local officials say some 200 people are still stranded. About 100 sought shelter on the second floor of a supermarket. 
Employees say the flood water rose to two meters inside the store. Thousands have fled to evacuation centers, but some of those buildings have also been flooded. Land ministry officials say nearly 7,000 homes and other buildings may have been damaged in Joso City alone. We have seen massive floods and landslides in a wide area around Tokyo as a tropical storm ripped through the main island of Japan. Rising floodwaters also inundated homes in Tochigi Prefecture. Part of a hot springs resort hotel collapsed. Generators at two water power plants have submerged and become inoperable. One woman went missing in a landslide in the prefecture. Weather officials say the storm has changed to a low pressure system over the Sea of Japan, but humid air continues to flow in, leaving a belt of rain clouds. Some parts of Tochigi Prefecture have had more than 500 millimeters of rain over the past 24 hours. That's more than double the amount of rain the region typically receives for the entire month of September. Weather officials warned of major floods and landslides. This is a seriously dangerous situation. We consider it an emergency. The government will make all-out efforts to protect the people and will take all necessary disaster management measures. Local authorities have ordered at least 130,000 people to evacuate. As rescue efforts are still underway to look for the missing and to help people evacuate, the situation becomes more desperate as the night progresses here. Sayaka Mori joins us with an update on the conditions that rescuers are faced with Sayaka. Yes, James, unprecedented amounts of heavy rain have caused historic flooding across the north of the Kanto region. Emergency warnings are still in place in Tochigi and Ibaraki prefectures, so people should take all measures to protect themselves. Now, Tochigi, Nikko, had over 550 millimeters of rain in just 24 hours. That's one-third of the annual rainfall for this area, so that has caused landslides here and also flooding in surrounding areas. Now, the rain started yesterday, so Nikko had 620 millimeters rain over the past 48 hours. Definitely the record-breaking number. And Tokyo, central Tokyo, had 240 millimeters rain, more than a monthly rainfall. Now, what happened is that there is a unusual setup. There is a low pressure since over the Sea of Japan, which used to be a tropical storm, and it tracked ample warmth and the humid air from the south. And across the Pacific, there was a typhoon named Kilo, and Kilo brought westerly wet winds across this area and then to the north a high pressure system brought northerly winds so all air collided into each other across northern japan and it caused a vertical line of heavy rainfall over the kanto region and it continued for many hours and kinugawa river actually flows from the north to the south so heavy rain fell on the kinugawa river for many hours now good news is that rain is easing across the kanto region but instead heavy rain is now shifting towards the north so the hokuriku region and hokkaido will see quite heavy rain for the next couple of days. Back to you, James. These heavy rains and flooding are affecting areas hard hit by the March 2011 disaster. Miyagi, as we've been telling you, and other parts of north, the Northeast are marking exactly four and a half years since the earthquake and tsunami. NHK World's Hiroshi Nakajima has more details on that. In Yamada, a town in Iwate Prefecture, a man has been ringing this bell almost every day to commemorate those who died in the disaster and to hope for a full recovery. Many people are still living in temporary housing. I'm always hoping that they can return to their normal lives where they don't have to worry about their safety. Police say the 2011 disaster left over 18,000 people dead or missing. Government authorities say more than 3,000 others died in shelters or from disaster-related causes. Officials from the reconstruction agency say as of August 13, over 140,000 people are still in temporary housing in Miyagi, Iwate, and Fukushima prefectures. The torrential rains have put a bigger burden on those in disaster areas. In Minamisoma City, Fukushima Prefecture, authorities issued an evacuation order for more than 7,000 people. 
Fukushima Typhoon at 2 originated leaks of radioactive water from the Fukushima plant in Japan. Leaks occurred in dams located around the tank storing liquid used to cool the reactors. With this leak there have been 7 detected since last April when a pumping system was implemented to prevent radioactive water emanating from the reactor to flow in place away from the plant. Contaminated water from Fukushima leaks into the sea due to Typhoon Atoa. The Fukushima plant has been found to be leaking contaminated water to the sea following heavy rainfall in the region caused by Typhoon Atoa, a spokesperson of Fukushima operator confirmed to EFE Thursday. The leaks have been caused in the embankments around the tank where highly radioactive water is stored after they used to cool the reactors. Tens of thousands of people are ordered to flee their homes across Japan as heavy rains have pounded the country, sending radiation tainted water into the oceans at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Kyoto Heavy rains whose severely was described as occurring once every 50 years were observed in the Fukushima prefecture. Fukushima Prefecture, which was devastated by the 2011 tsunami, saw more than 30 centimeters, one foot of rain in 48 hours, the heaviest downpour there in 50 years, according to the NHK news broadcast. Yep, all that contaminated water, it's flowing out to the sea. It's a gift that keeps on giving, Fukushima. Fukushima would ever stop in our lifetimes. Since these big downpours and they've been doing these releases, I know they pumped out the water out of the reactor buildings. I have seen the rad measurements drop on a Geiger counter that's located uh, near the reactor building. It dropped 4,000 NSVH, so I don't know. But then they dumped that water into the ocean, so... If they can't take advantage of the moment for pulling out that water to do some serious decontamination permanently, then... It was all for nothing, it was a waste. We fucked up the ocean for nothing. The flooding has been really bad in Japan, not even too far from Fukushima. Typhoon Itoa, dramatic scenes in Japan. 170,000 people have been evacuated, and radioactive water is now spewing into the sea. North of the capital, Tokyo, the dikes are broken after days of rainfall. Several cities were then submerged. The government called on tens of thousands of people to flee their homes. There's nearly a million affected as freak rain surges over rank banks and sweeps away in buildings. So the rain is really bad over there. The radioactive contamination that's going to be around Japan, it's going to go in these water streams and rivers. It's going to carry itself out into the ocean. Nearly a million people have been evacuated and told to leave their homes in eastern Japan after freak torrential rains caused flooding and left buildings obliterated, two missing and many more stranded. Warnings have been issued to more than 5 million people as the populous Pacific nation is battered by harsh rainfall. Some areas of Japan, principal island of Honshu, have received double their September rainfall in 48 hours as tropical storm Itoa rages across the island's central strip. Japanese local television has broadcast images of perilous rescue attempts by helicopters. A 63-year-old woman was missing after a landslide struck the building where she lived. Another man believed to be in his 70s in Hozo, 56 kilometers, 35 miles north of Tokyo, was trapped in his home as a flood water swept it away. 35 miles north of Tokyo, and that would be 160 miles south of Fukushima where this storm is probably hitting right now. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the government will work as one to prioritize the safety of people and to do our best to prevent any further disaster. Japan has worked to improve its disaster response measures in the wake of the country's 2011 earthquake and tsunami which left 20,000 dead more than four years later. Fukushima is one of the areas in Japan which has had the massive rainfall. Weather officials predicted at least 200 millimeters, 8 inches more in parts of eastern Japan as the rain continues over the next 24 hours, after which it is expected to stop in the worst affected areas rainfall which had 600 millimeters. This is from the standard. Japan flags grave danger from floods and water tainted by Fukushima nuclear plant radiation. Tens of thousands of people were ordered to evacuate across Japan today as heavy rain pounded the country, sending radiated tainted waters into the ocean at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. 
Waste high floods in some areas left rescuers scrambled to pluck people to safety as a wide area was deluged into the wake of the Typhoon Atoa. This is a scale of downpour that we have not experienced before. Grave danger could be imminent, forecaster. Told an emergency press conference the Japan Meteorological Agency issued special warnings for Tochigi and Ibaraki. More than a dozen people were injured, including a 77-year-old woman who broke her leg after falling in strong winds, local reports said. Itoa, which smashed into Japan yesterday, moved out into the Sea of Japan East Sea by the end of the day, but a wall of rain continued to lash the country. Parts of the central Tochigi had been almost 60 centimeters of rain since Monday evening. Fukushima nuclear plant is overwhelmed, the site's drainage pump, a spokesperson for the operator of Tokyo Electric Power said. TEPCO is storing huge amounts of water used to cool the reactors sent into the meltdowns that happened in 2011. Tochigi authorities ordered to evacuate, while another 116,000 were advised to leave their homes. Public broadcaster NHK said in Ibaraki Prefecture, at least 20,000 were ordered to evacuate for fears of flooding. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said the government was on a high alert. The government will stand united and do its best to deal with the disaster by putting its highest priority on people's lives, Abe said. Except he's keeping that Fukushima water close to the ocean. He's really caring a lot there. The, Met the Meteorological Observatory in Tochigi said the Kanigawa River, which also runs through Ibaraki, overflowed earlier today. In Tochigi, Kanuma City, a local official said rescue workers were searching for a missing person believed to be buried in a mudslide. We don't know the details of the person, he said. NHK reported it was a woman in her 60s, buried after mudslides destroyed houses. Her husband was rescued soon after.